Good morning, everybody. Mark in the home weather office on this Friday morning, the 17th day of March, 2023, St. Patrick's Day. Hope you have a beautiful day. And as I look out the window here at the home office, it is a beautiful morning. We'll have a few clouds later on today, but a really nice day to be outside. Temperatures will go cool now. I think we get into the upper 60s. And tomorrow, tomorrow, well, we'll also have a few clouds come our way. I wouldn't be surprised if we hit 70. 70 on Saturday? I think it's going to be okay. Now, the headline for today is no AR for CA. Maybe we do not get the next atmospheric river coming our way. The models are certainly trending that way, and I think that's going to really reduce our rain amounts and our snow amounts as we head toward Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, and also a little bit of rain we're expecting on Sunday, too. So let's get straight to it. Had a request yesterday if somebody wanted to see a, a good old-fashioned 500 millibar chart, and I love these charts. And if uh, for those of you that join the Facebook chats um, um, that I do on Tuesday and Thursday and other busy nights, uh, I use these fairly often. For those of you that don't know, 500 millibars, it's up around 18, uh, 20,000 feet, sometimes a little lower down around 15,000 feet. But this is uh, this is the, the kind of what we think of as the jet stream, what guides weather systems. And I know there's lots of squiggly lines here. And what you're looking at here are uh, lines of equal height. And this is California here. Again, I, I know it might be tough to, to gauge. There's Texas, there's Florida. I'm kind of hiding Florida. And there's New England. So what you're looking at here is how the, the jet stream flows along. Let me just shift this a little bit so I can move this map along. And what you'll see here is that as we go through the next couple of days, a little ridge here, a little ridge of high pressure moving through here, if you will, that helps us give us a beautiful day today. And again, during the day on Saturday, there'll be a few high clouds moving through that. And then you can see the jet stream starts to get aligned straight at California. This is the little wave that'll come through on Sunday and bring us some rain, but it's splitting a little bit. Some of the energy going this way, some of it going that way. And that's why we're expecting limited amounts of precipitation. The dynamics with this system just aren't that good, but it'll be juicy enough that we'll get some rain on Sunday. And I'll show you more on that here in just a second. And now, as we turn our attention to the next weather system, it's this low that's digging out of the Gulf of Alaska. And as we get into Monday night, this is Monday night, good jet stream, but notice where it's heading. Most of it heading to our south. So here's the low, and I'll show you the moisture, the atmospheric river. This is going to tap into moisture, but it's going to be headed well south of our area. We will get rain Tuesday, don't get me wrong, but the focus of it is going to be more in Southern California, reducing the impact for us. And you can see where that low goes. It's this is called a digging low. And as that low continues to dig farther south, it reduces our rain. This is Wednesday, and we will see some colder temperatures once again. But uh, all in all, that's what's going to happen with this next weather system. So let's take a look at the, the atmospheric river itself. And let me just move this back up this way so you can get a better look at what's going on here. All right. So here's the atmospheric river. This is what you look at. That's the big plume out here in the Pacific. Here's California. This is where we are right uh, this morning. So as we go through time, here's the atmospheric river itself, the Pineapple Express, if you will. Uh, so yeah, Hawaii's down here. And... There is the plume of moisture, and here's California. So this is where it is on Saturday, more or less looking like it's aimed straight at us. But as that low digs down from the north, it essentially pushes the atmosphere river farther south so that what we get is we're on the fringes of it. And as you can see, this nice plume right here, that's heading into L.A., and California, Northern California, we're just on the northern fringes of it. And so while we will get some precipitation, this keeps the precipitation totals down. So here's the, here's the, the story about that, is that Northern California is going to get a bit of a break. Yes, we're going to see rain on Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. And again, I'll show you those here in just a second. But the amounts are going to be lower, both in terms of rain and snow. So our concerns about any area, streams, creeks, or rivers is going to be way down. So while you see rain in the forecast, and we all still already have a lot of water going through the system, the worries about seeing any additional flooding, those will go down. For those of you, let's say at 4,000 feet, that have been doing so much shoveling over the last month, well, you'll likely see some snow uh, by the time we get to Tuesday. We'll be talking inches, not feet. So this really lowers the temperature, if you will, 
metaphorically speaking, of what we're expecting on Monday and Tuesday in terms of the impacts from an atmospheric river, since it's generally going to go to our south. So let's talk about how that precipitation is going to be uh, moving in. So this is the North American model as the morning's model run. And the models really started pointing to this last night that we really weren't going to see much on Monday. This is uh, Saturday night. This is Sunday. So Sunday morning at five o'clock, we wake up to some rain. Now, I'll also tell you the North American model hangs on to this rain and gives more rain than some of the other models. So this is kind of the wettest solution, if you will. This is around midday on Sunday. This is the afternoon. And this is around sunset. The other models are drying things out a little bit faster. So Saturday is a great day. Sunday is the showery day, but I wouldn't be surprised if the valley starts to dry out on Sunday afternoon faster than what this model is showing. And you see this little wave back in here? That's the rain we're expecting on Monday, and it just kind of fills in a little bit and then falls apart. This is Monday around midday. There's some rain, there's some snow, but as you can see, Monday is far from a rainy day. This is Monday afternoon. So yeah, we're just not expecting all that much. In terms of how much we are expecting, uh, I'll take you through the total precip accumulation. I'll stop it on Sunday afternoon. So that first wave on Sunday gives us maybe a quarter of an inch of rain. This does bring a plume to areas like Paradise, but not sure that's definitely gonna happen. This model tends to be on the wetter side. We're still at about a quarter of an inch, and then the additional rain on Monday might push us up to um, you know, maybe a third of an inch, a little bit more in the foothills. And in terms of snow, we'd be seeing inches, not feet, but still there is going to be enough that we'll have chain controls and that sort of thing. And speaking of snow, I want to show you how the snow level is going to drop. So these are, I showed you this yesterday, these are temperatures around 5,000 feet. And we kind of use this as a proxy to estimate how the colder air is going to come in and what is going to happen with our snow level. So here we are right now, or actually into the day on Saturday, temperatures aloft of plus seven. So that's 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 pretty warm. Yeah, it could be warmer at this time of year, but that's why I think Saturday is going to be a nice day. Sunshine, clouds, maybe as high as 70 degrees, which is only two degrees warmer than average. All right, but watch how it gets colder as we get into the day on Sunday. This is Sunday around midday. Now those, those temperatures aloft are down around two or three. So Sunday starts to turn colder again. And this would put a snow level down around 5,500 to 6,000 feet. With that, we're expecting on Sunday. And there will be chain controls on Sunday. This is Sunday night. And temperatures continue to get colder into the day on Monday. And this is Monday night. And we're now down to temperatures down around minus one, which will give you snow down to 4,000 feet. And as we get that rain into the day on Tuesday, the, the better part of the rain that we're expecting on, on Tuesday, that will bring some snow down to 4,000 feet. But I do expect we'll see that inches, you know, maybe six to eight, although that's something we'll fine tune over the course of the weekend. And there will be higher amounts over the Sierra, maybe one to two feet. But a couple of days ago, we were looking at three to four feet. So with that atmospheric river sinking a little bit farther south and the best dynamics sinking farther south, the, uh, the impacts of this next day are really are going to miss Northern California. Yep, we're gonna see rain and snow, but it's not gonna have the same sort of impact that we have seen. And you know, it's interesting, last March, we couldn't get any rain. We saw a lot of days like today last March, but instead, you know, now here we are a year later, kind of happy that we're seeing an AR stay a little bit away from our area, which is great news for our hydro concerns, it's great news for the Sierra where more folks don't need uh, another two or three feet of snow on their rooftops, which are already laden with snow. So that's what I've got for you on this Friday. I will not be on Facebook tonight, but I will be on the news at four, five, six, seven, 10, and 11. My next YouTube update will be on Sunday evening to give you an idea what's headed for our area for next week. And uh, I thank all of those of you that have subscribed. And if you haven't done so, you can do that right now. Have yourselves a great Friday, a great St. Patrick's Day. I'll talk to you later.